and welcome back to progress in Yuminiki. We found a thing. What an exciting day. I don't know how I managed to do that. I don't know if I just got absurdly lucky or if there is just some very simple sequence where it doesn't matter where you are in in the sequence, where you are in terms of have, having gone up or down or left or right in the maze, but if you go, say, left, right, down, then you end up here. I don't know. I guess we'll have to test it out a little bit, but let's finally explore some new content. Amazing. And see what we have to work with. So we can leave to the right, which I do not want to do. Absolutely not. We can leave down as well. Okay. But we cannot... No, we can leave left as well. Okay. We can look in through the window. And we can knock on the door, maybe. Or open it or something. Huh. Well, I guess I'll look in through the window first. Prepare for some jump scare or something. Um. Oh. What the hell? What is this even supposed to be? I can't tell what this is... ...meant to... ...portray. And I assume nothing happens if you just, like, sit here for a while. Huh. Well, there's some rendering issues there on the left. Things disappearing before they're actually off the camera. And I can't press any buttons. I haven't pressed circle. I'm assuming when I press circle, I will leave. So let's press circle. Yeah, okay. What if I look in again? Same as before. What if I do it again? And again. And again. Okay, nothing. For now. And if we knock on the door? Or, or just enter? Whoa. What the hell is going on here? Force perspective, it's like I'm playing Final Fantasy VII. Or something. Not that that's the only game that has forced perspective, but that's what this reminds me of, like entering a house and just one screen. Oh god. Is this what I was seeing? Just boxes? I didn't even realize that. Holy shit. What? What the hell is that supposed to mean. What? And I can't go anywhere here. And I can't, like, move the blocks or anything. Can't push them. Okay. Umbrella? That is a weird effect. I don't even know if that's intended, because it looks so strange and glitchy. Like, the ripples aren't being fully shown. What if I equip my snow gear? And freeze the pools! Does it work? Well, it doesn't look like it. There's no animation for it. No. Okay, never mind. Nothing on Hamsa. Can't use any other... Wait, you can use Hamsa when you're like in water? I... I guess I didn't try that. Did I? 
No, I feel like I did because I was playing on uh, the keyboard at that point, and Hamza is just A, but on the uh, controller it's like right stick click, which is odd. Well, not odd, but not something I randomly press. Okay, so that was nothing for right now. And if we just leave and then look in the window again, now that I've splish splashed around in the bath. No, nothing. I guess that's what we're seeing. It's supposed to be like the glass is making it wobbly and weird, but that's not really how glass works, unless it's really fucking shitty glass. Huh. That's weird. There's nothing. So you have to somehow do something that makes something appear in here. But how do I do that? And can I do it right now or is it later on? Huh. What if I like jump between the puddles? Well, can I jump up from the puddles? Well, I'm, I'm on something here, but yeah, not, can't go anywhere. Man, this is weird. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Can't jump up higher here. Yeah, no. Whoa. Clipping issue there. My head just disappears. Ha! Huh, what a what a bizarre screen. You just find it and it's nothing? I don't know, maybe it's just nothing. Maybe there really is no point. Or maybe I'm just not understanding something or don't have something I need. And now I assume we're just back in the loop. Yeah, okay. And if I just leave to the right again, it's probably not going to be the same screen, right? Of course not. Okay, so let's try it. So I go left again, and now I go down. Or maybe it was the opposite way. I don't know. I mean, this is certainly interesting, but it's gonna be hard to figure out what the hell I'm even supposed to do here, and if there's anything at all to do. Oh, I thought that was a new screen, because it was like so long, but no. All right, so what if I go left, then right, then down? I'm gonna take off these clothes. Doesn't even fit having it in a desert. Oh, well, there there it is. Okay. So I guess that's how you can do it. No matter where you are in the sequence, you just go left then right then down. So I guess I should try a couple of sequences like that just to check if there's something else we can do. I kind of doubt it, but I guess let's go down here just for fun. I assume this screen just, like, it doesn't matter which way you leave, you'll just leave. It's not a continuation. Yeah, there's the screen again. Or, not screen, but rock. If I go up. Oh, 
that takes me back. I'm going out again. Okay, so that's how you leave? Going down and then up, maybe? Or something? Huh. How... How very interesting and weird. Well, I, I guess that's kind of all we'll get out of that screen for now. And I'll, I'll leave it, and if we have other stuff to find later on, then I'll check that out. But for now, I guess we'll just explore a bit in the worlds that we, we've known and loved for so long. So many years. Let's check if the train has anything new with it. Like, did they add this feature where you just sit on the train for 10-15 seconds and then you leave? Probably not. Well, the sound is different. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, those like rattles, they weren't being played. I was thinking, oh, maybe it actually changes. Maybe if you leave at that point, it, like, something different happens. I doubt it, but that might be something to try. Let's try it right now. Let's just sit down, I guess. No, I mean, now the sound is different. Yeah, it's, it's nothing. It's just a loop. A sound loop. Never mind. Alright, well, might as well explore the entire area here just to confirm. There might be something new in a house, there might be something new if you stab a specific guy or something, so we'd best get to it. Yeah, there's the the pyramid again, or it's not a pyramid. I know I keep calling it a pyramid and it's not a pyramid, but screw you. Deal with it. And I can't jump up here. Oh! Oh, but you can't stand next to the guy, so I can't, like, stab him. No. Doesn't seem like it. And there's a sneaky guy somewhere here. Where is he? Oh, is that just the guy that, that walked out to the right? I guess he just walks around. And sometimes he's just obscured by the camera or the buildings. Got the UFO. Oh, and yeah, that's kind of a little bit of a hint with the whole UFO. There's the symbol, and that the symbol means UFO? Or alien? That makes sense, but what doesn't make sense is that you have to activate that symbol in the last world and then go out to the rooftop and go left to see a, an alien symbol and get taken to the, the spaceship. That part is a bit arbitrary, I feel. Just not really something you can figure out. And there's no reason to check the, uh, rooftop there. I've already done this. Yeah, he doesn't care. And still has no sound. And he can still play when he's dead. Yep. And this guy just waves, can't kill him. And that's about it, I think. We'll just go into the center as well, might as well, but... That's all of them, as far as I can tell. Can't get up there. Hi, doggy. He doesn't care. Yeah, I guess there's not really anything. 
here. Okay. Nothing new in the settlements. Obviously the big one we're all waiting for is the docks because there... There has to be some change, probably. I'm kind of worried and almost expecting that it's not actually going to be different. That the docks are still going to take you to the same area, the same lighthouse thing, the same forest, the same little igloo that just takes you to the pink sea and it's just like an alternate path if you go in the uh, the block world or a snow world, but I don't know. We'll see. And this is still nothing. I was kind of thinking this might change in the update. But I guess not. Let's make it snow. Does not seem to do anything. And here's this guy, still alive and well. So how was this again? Yeah, there we go. And nothing. Yeah, I don't know why you can't kill this guy. It would have been fun. Like, if you kill him and you haven't done the thing to get the, the glyph, you can just leave and come back and he would be alive again. So it wouldn't harm anything. I feel like that's kind of the justification for every NPC that you can't kill. You might as well make, make it so that you can kill them, because if you kill them, you just have to redo the dream or leave and come back from one screen and then you'll be fine. But yeah, that's that's kind of it for right now, so... Ah, uh, well, I guess I'll wake up again. We don't have time to do too much more, so I'm not going to get into the docks today, but... What can we do that's quick and easy? I guess our favorite, the streets. We might as well go to the streets and finish that up and see if I can find the uh, Monaco collectible that I definitely did get and got 100% in this save file. This isn't here, right? Nope, it's not. All right, our friends, I'll just go up and check. Cause again, we just need to be thorough just to make sure they didn't randomly place a collectible on the floor up here for no reason. Just make sure. Oh, you can't double jump in this area. Huh, okay. Hi guy, can I make it rain here? I can. It could make it snow as well, but screw that. Alright, so here we go. Yet again. Finding Monaco. Yeah, nothing right here now, so we just have to do it. And then check the, uh, the bed. Let's see how much trouble I have now finding her. There's the laugh. Is it actually accurate? Yeah, it is. That time. <laughs> Sound like bottom right after it repositioned. 
Maybe not. Did they decrease the frequency of her her laughs? She used to laugh like every three seconds or something, right? It just happened all the time. Now it's like once. Oh, there she is. Damn, I actually kind of didn't want to find her just to see that. But she still laughs now, right? Yeah. So if I just wait... Hello. She'll still laugh. Yeah, she still laughs. I guess that was just a weird coincidence. What happens if you approach her from the top? Can it bug out? If you, like, reach the, uh... No, okay. Reach the, like, aggro zone from above. That would have been weird. What happens if I glide in? With my amazing... Can I jump? Yeah, I can. With my amazing umbrella! You just fall down, okay. Alright, so we'll see you again. Did I just not get this collectible for some reason? Reverting a save or what? I can't even remember. Yep, there it is. Weird. I swear I didn't. I used my 100% save. I'm almost certain I did. Well, I mean, at least I know where all the collectibles are that we already did find, so... They shouldn't be too bad to get again. Yeah, nothing else here. Alright. And yeah, that took a while, so I'm just gonna leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching. I guess next time we'll probably just start by going to the docks, because we need to do that. Get it out of the way, see if the walk back has changed at all, and if not, then just get the collectible from Pink Sea and then check if there's anything else that's changed about that. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye!